Hey, in this video, I want to show you this case study. Um, yeah, so you can see uh, 1 mil in 11 months, 15x ROAS. Okay, so scaling to making millions of dollars within a year with absolute predictability while being extremely capital efficient, profitable, and just using a credit card. Okay, so you can see here this graph. This starts from February 1st. Uh, today's Gen 6. Um, so um, I think we hit a mil yesterday. Um, and as you can see, the, the graph is like slow and steady. It's not um, anything fancy. It's not anything like uh, boom, you know. It's not the type of case studies in the past where uh, I can show very, very aggressive scaling up curves. Uh, and that's purely because this is, um, the cold traffic is very much based on Google Ads. So Google Ads is based on search traffic, right? Search traffic is, um, yeah, you cannot really control it. You cannot just artificially create demand, uh, but that's okay because you are very, very profitable at the same time. Uh, not as fast growth in terms of revenue numbers, but uh, nonetheless, uh, very, very cool, okay? So, show sure you just obviously in uh, december it was like uh, our highest month i think it hit 160k if i'm not wrong um but basically um in quarter four sales definitely do increase purely because of uh december and holiday season and stuff yeah but we hit a million dollars uh, within a year's time i guess from starting so this client of ours um he's actually been in business for quite a while it's just that he transitioned from an offline channel into an online channel right so he hasn't been selling online and then uh, this situation forced him to go online and uh, this is what happens when uh, you do do things prop uh, properly and you can basically transition your entire business online anyway with less capex and everything so um you can see here so this is the google ad account and on this Google ad account, you can see, okay, it's from all times 2013, but actually you start spending in, in 2020 actually. Uh, and you can see here, we do a multiple uh, different types of campaigns. So you can see search on Google, we do search shopping and display. We don't do any YouTube. And predominantly, um, the cold traffic acquisition is based on search, okay? Uh, we do a bit of shopping, you can see here as well, okay? We don't spend a lot of money. You can see it's like $80, $30, $90 per day, uh, but being very, very capital e efficient. Okay, you can see the cost, this is the cost column right here. Spend around 39K uh, in sales right here. Uh, and then uh, conversion value is, it says 462K, but uh, in matter of fact, it's much more than that. Okay, because Google's attribution sucks. Okay, so you can see bid strategy as well. If you are uh, seeing Google ads a lot, um, basically we are not doing anything manual bid at this point in time, purely because this account and this pixel has seasoned already. That's why everything's on target CPA and target row as, as here as well. Okay, so um, yeah. Um, this conversion, sorry, this conversion value over cost, you can see here, like this is considered ROAS, right? Uh, but this is definitely not accurate at all. So just don't don't always look at this. This is not uh, accurate, okay? So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it from the Google ad side uh, on Google, uh, Facebook, sorry. This is the ad account as well. So you can see Facebook, we started doing it uh, more to the back end of the year, purely because we want to get, get uh, there's a lot of good search traffic coming to the site itself, right? Then the pixel that is being used, all the data that's coming through is all bottom of funnel traffic from uh, from Google already. So the pixel is very, very good, it's very, very seasoned. The lookalikes on Facebook are very strong as well. So you can see here, we're not spending a lot of money. This is the cold campaign. This is 130 a day. Uh, this is another cold campaign. And then these two right here are retargeting. So this is bottom of funnel, this is middle. And if you can see, let me just scroll for you. Um, yeah, you can see the ROAS right here. This is the purchase ROAS. Um, this is 6.27 and 7.43. This is on cold. So it's really good numbers, I would say. Um, and then this is retargeting. So definitely uh, the ROAS here will be higher. Okay. You can see overall, um, this is total spend, 27K. And then this is the purchase conversion value, uh, 267 right here. Okay. So obviously uh, both sites, Facebook and Google, the attribution is terrible. So don't take this at face value. It's more than this. Uh, but yeah. Okay. So we understand as well that um, on Facebook, right, it's definitely more expensive to acquire the customer purely because um, Google traffic is like prime traffic, it's premium traffic, it's A1 uh, bottom of funnel stuff. Whereas on Facebook, you still have to convince people to buy. So in a sense, the, the cost per purchases are definitely higher on Facebook. And we understand that as we scale up, uh, there's diminishing ROAS. And so we kind of have to balance profitability as well as scale at the same time. Okay, so how, how big do we actually want to grow uh, this company and stuff? Okay, so... Uh, with that being said, right, um, showing you uh, quite a few things. Um, yeah, this store is live. Uh, let me just go into the presentation to show you. Okay, so if you learn how to do this, right, you already get you the results you're looking for and never have to worry about money again, purely because this is skill acquisition. Okay, once you learn this, this is applicable ac across industry price point, And this is a transferable skill that can be brought to other businesses of yours as well. If you do decide to go into something else, right, it's not only a one dimension, one track sort of thing. Okay, so why is it that 
have you ever wondered, right? Why is it that everyone is entitled to the same traffic sources, but we all produce different results? Okay. Um, like you have a Facebook account, probably you have a business Facebook account, you run ads as well, right? So why is it that people get different results? It's because even though we are all using the same tools, but a lot of people simply don't know how to use the tools. Okay. It's not a, the tool. It's the house you build with it, right? That's what separates those who get results and those who don't. Is there something that I know, um, that you don't know? Um, probably yes. Uh, but maybe because I, I definitely have more experience and I have a repeatable system to get results. Okay. So who is this presentation actually for? It's for number one, e-commerce. People who, your sales, right, come in when people put a credit card on your website and buy from you. Okay, so they literally transact with you over the internet, as you can see, without a need for the salesperson. Okay, this can be a physical product, e-commerce, or even digital products. Okay, so service-based businesses as well. You're providing a service. You talk to leads by having a sales call on Zoom or over the phone, and someone's actually talking to the lead and closing them. So this is what they call a service-based business. This works. Okay, so you might be also a bit skeptical at this point. It doesn't work for me. Okay, this is a repeatable system that you follow. So it's not based on an individual. It's not like how smart are you or whatever. It's a repeatable system. I've basically compa compartmentalized all my experiences uh, across my agency and the clients and I put them into a system. Okay, so you just follow the steps. You'll get the result. If, if you don't do the work, obviously you're not going to get the results. But if you do the work, you're going to get the results. Okay, I'm not special as well. I learned this. So three years ago, I, I didn't know anything. Okay, now I know a lot of things. Okay, I'm from Singapore as well. So if you think, hey, I need to be in the US, I need to be in a Western country. Uh, not really. Uh, I'm in Singapore. Um, I'm literally sitting in my bedroom. I have Wi-Fi and this is my laptop right here. So that, that, that's it. That's all. Okay, you might be saying I'm too old as well. Okay, there's a, a case study. Uh, one of my students, right? They are, I think, close to retirement. <laughs> I think late, late 50s, if I'm not wrong. And then uh, he finished uh, his job in the retail sector. And then I think he got retrenched. Uh, during COVID and stuff. And then, um, yeah, now he, he's too old, but he's doing e comp and he's killing it. First year, I think he did 500k. Okay. So I also don't know how to program or not good at math. Okay. So like these excuses are not real excuses. Okay. So the, the excuse that this doesn't work for me, it does, it's not applicable. Okay. If you do the work, you're going to get the result. It's not, it's not, uh, yeah. Okay. The total run rate for this particular business, you can see on Facebook, I show you just now, right? Um, 27k spent. On Google, 39K spent. So this is still the main bulk of traffic. And then total, 66K spent. So uh, overall revenue so far is a million. And then uh, the ROI is 15X, 14.9. Nah, okay. So you might be thinking also, okay, this is a very, very big company or whatever. They're very established. Okay, no, not really. It's um, the CEO and the fulfillment team. And then it's just uh, our team. Okay, so you don't need a lot of people to make a lot of money. Keep that in mind. Okay, the biggest companies are not the, the best companies. Okay. Uh, the ones that know what they are doing, they have a repeatable system that gets gets results. They know how to scale, especially they know what they're doing, okay? As long as you know what you're doing, uh, you don't really need a lot of people to get a lot of results as well, okay? So right now, if you're running ads to grow your business, right, you're probably trying to figure out why you're not getting the returns you're looking for and possibly making sales already, but not making the type of money that you know you can make, okay? You want to also get to the next level. So you either two of these things. You don't know how to do so, or number two, you don't know where to start, okay? I want to show you and simplify things for you. You don't have to do a lot of things. You only need to do and master a few things to get really rich really quick, okay? So traffic channel and acquisition, you need to learn paid traffic. You need to know how to master paid traffic. So it's Facebook, Google, Instagram. These two people, uh, these two companies control everything. Just master them, okay? And then there's email. That is literally it. Okay, you don't have to be so, oh, content production. Oh, I need to post this here that I need to be active on social media. Uh, no, you actually don't. Okay, so let me just break that misconception. Okay, unlike other case studies that I put out as well, uh, this is not a skyrocket type of business. So this business doesn't have like, I can't just go to Facebook and like artificially pump in demand. This is our cold traffic acquisition. Main channel is search based traffic. Okay, this is harder to scale very, very fast but it's profitable, okay? Because we're all targeting bottom of funnel traffic all the time. So I can't artificially create demand for a product like in Facebook, okay? In Facebook, I'm putting a video ad in front of people. I'm, I'm creating uh, and stimulating the demand because people see and, and are interested. Uh, in Google, only if people search for this thing, can I sell them this thing, okay? If not, uh, my ad does not show up and I'm unable to put my placement, unable to sell to them. Make sense? Okay, then afterwards, once we have put all, uh, sorry, once we have uh, spent a lot of money on ads on the Google site, right? This search based ultra qualified traffic comes onto our site. Uh, the pixel tags them with their data 
and then I can basically create lookalikes and retargeting on Facebook and Instagram as well. And obviously, uh, this is very profitable, but the cold traffic acquisition on Facebook and Google and Instagram, I totally understand. We are very cognizant of that, that it's expensive to acquire customers on call with Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Uh, once you start scaling, the ROAS will go down as well. Okay, so this is our bulletproof system of getting results. And just hear me out. I think after watching this, you don't have to watch any other video on the internet ever. Okay, so step one, find out the price point, margin, gross, shipping costs. This is super important. You need to understand, is this business even suitable to run ads? Okay, not every um, every product you actually can run ads. It's just you need to adjust the price points a bit just because you need to pay for, especially physical product, right? You need to pay for the cogs. You need to have margin for profit. You need to have margin for marketing. You need to run ads, okay? You drill down, once you drill down the economics, right? You also need to find out how other competitors are pricing their products and proven acquisition channels. So if you see that competitor A is spending a lot of money on this channel, it probably means there's a lot of money in this channel, okay? Um, it means it's profitable. It means they're making money. And so you should go into the same type of channel and, and do something different, okay? Because you don't, you want to go to where your customers are. You don't want to go anywhere else, okay? If you see there's money in a, in a certain amount of market in a channel, it means you should go there as well. Okay, don't try to break the wheel. Don't try to be creative. Um, sorry, we are not special. I'm not special. Okay, we just do what works, do what's proven already. Okay, afterwards, uh, so this basically, um, once you figure all th these things out, this makes you understand, is this business actually suitable to use paid advertising to grow in the first place? Okay, step two, validating whether my potential customers are actually searching for such a product. So Google Ads, right? I need to understand from the data whether that's actually, I'm able to reach these audiences that are searching for this product. Okay, so I'm using validation with Google Keyword Planner and purely Google alone. So Google search, okay? As you can see here, for example, if you're selling apparels, right? Um, the, the keyword right here I'm searching for is denim jeans. Okay, so the average monthly searches, for example, you can see 246, 49, 40, 60, right? If I'm selling black ripped jeans, I understand that I have access to this channel and there is a lot of search traffic. There are customers and money in this channel. Okay, simple. Yeah, which exact platforms are my audiences actually hanging out and where does the attention lie, okay? Keep in mind, you do not need to spend money at this point in time if there is no demand. If you do not find that there's any search traffic in this channel, right, do not go out there and run ads. You are basically wasting money, okay? So this is basically how you do risk management, okay? You are spending the least amount of money to validate your product and your offer first. And if you see that you are able to sell this type of product, then you go and, you go and start selling. You go and start spending money, understand? So it's not like you're reckless spending. You are very, very conservative. Sorry, I'm, to be honest, I'm a, quite a pussy. Yeah. So like you be a very conservative, but you understand the numbers and you do things uh, very, very calculative at the same time. Okay, so this answers the question, right? Are there people actually able and willing to pay me for my product? Plus, am I able to actually reach them? Okay, even if people have a lot of money and, they cannot re and you cannot reach them, it doesn't matter. You need to be able to reach a channel and have money. Okay, so if the, if the answer is yes, great. If no, then change, change strategy. Find out where your customers are and go to that channel. Okay, so because of the power of the internet, right? Facebook and Google, these two companies, they literally control 95% of everything already. So just master these two, okay? So step three, research on the marketing angle as well. So find out what the customer cares about. Define the USP of the business, why people buy, why people don't buy, the problem that the product and service actually solves for the customer. How painful is that problem? And that determines the price point, okay? If I have surgery on my knee, it's a very, very painful problem. I'm willing to pay any amount of price for it. Do you understand? The more painful your problem, the more you can charge. It's simple, okay? Research market validated pain points, okay? Once you have your validated pain points, then you go and start. Start all the marketing, start all the action and implementation, okay? But research is more important than the actual thing itself. If you don't do research, you're gonna fail, okay? If you don't do homework, you're gonna fail the exam. Simple, okay? Does my business actually solve a legitimate painful problem for my customer. You have your competitors and here we find out how you're different from them, okay? So keep in mind, like honestly, everyone is selling, um, uh, a, lot, a lot of people sell commodities, okay? You need to be able to differentiate yourself and by differentiating yourself, you understand and you also are able to sell to people uh, because a lot of the times people's attention, attention span are very short. They can click the back button. They can just click out of the tab. They can close and turn off their phone. Okay, so you need to capture their attention in a very, very strong way, okay? So next step, copywriting, crafting the offer, okay? Building the actual landing pages using eight-figure templates that we have uh, in our program and then hypothesizing 
and writing Shakespeare worthy copy that resonates with your target customer. Okay, so why must you do this? Is because a lot of the times people do not understand the value that you're bringing. So you need to actually write long form copy in order to convince them. Okay, if everybody is doing sell, 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 everybody's saying, hey, buy this, buy this, buy this. But if you're doing something different, um, it's, it makes you stand out. Make sense? Okay, and obviously video photo assets as well. Okay, this is what gets results. These are what gets killer results. Okay, being able to craft offers that compel people to buy. Okay, you might be thinking, uh, you just like, hey, you're really, really good at ads. Uh, that, that's not it. You need to be good at marketing. You need to be good at crafting offers. That's all. Okay. If you also don't know how to sell, you literally don't have a business. Okay. Because you can't bring in new business. Okay. You also be scared because you don't know how to convince cold traffic to give you money. Okay. So people don't understand this. They say, oh, for example, like influencers, I have 200K followers. I have an audience or whatever. I can sell to them. Do you know that in order to grow your company, you need to convince people who do not know you to give you money at profitable or break even? Let me repeat that, okay? So, in order to grow your company, you need to convince cold traffic, people who do not know, like, or trust or respect you to give you more money than the cox itself, than the cost at break-even or profit. If not, you're essentially losing money. Does that make sense? So, in, or, in order to do this, right, you need to be solving painful problems and you can scale. That's the difference, okay? So, 95% of the people do not know how to do the first two steps I just said, okay? And 99% of people don't know how to even craft an offer, okay? This is what separates the people who struggle and the top dogs in your space, okay? Step five, you actually launch the ads, the Google, the Facebook ads, uh, small budget amounts, see what type of angles actually make money in the market. And then only from, from the stuff that makes money, then you do more of what makes money. Don't do things that don't make money, okay? This is why, um, you, this is how you de-risk. You're not like wasting and reckless spending. You're doing things very conservatively with um, logic, okay? When people spend money and stuff like stock market, right? You're very emotional. You can't be that. You need to look at the data objectively, okay? Step six, then you start scaling, okay? So scaling is an entirely different language. It's like accounting is a, it's a different language, okay? Look like custom audience CBOs. For Google Ads, it's target CPA, conversion value over cost, search impression ranking, etc. cetera, okay? The, uh, this thing, eventually, like the beginner stuff, if, if you want to learn, you can learn. Right? Eventually, you, you definitely need to outsource this if you want to like separate your time and like have a life. So you probably want to, uh, in a sense, give this portion out to someone else to do and then you focus on crafting the offer and helping the customer, okay? So step seven, this is where you get results. You live the life that you want, you enjoy, and you've done it, Congra congratulations, okay? Okay, so a word of caution to you, right? Don't look at the results that I have produced, that other people have produced, right? Um, that this is all end result. You don't understand that like there's a journey that you, you take to get here. What matters is you improve 1% every day. Are you taking actions day by day to improve? If you're not right, then I'm so sorry, but you're honestly wasting your time. But if you are, then that's what matters because it doesn't matter what I do, what, what other people do. It's just that, do, are you following a system, a repeatable way to produce results? If you're not right, then you need to go and find. You need to go get that repeatable, repeatable result, okay? Yeah. You want business to be easy, to be repeatable. You don't want it to be complex. It's, it doesn't have to be complex, okay? Okay, so let me just recap the process for you. You find out the unit economics, the numbers. Second, craft the marketing angles. Number three, craft the offer. Super important. Number four, then you do the ads, launching, scaling. Can you see that this, these steps come after these steps? Right? This, these are the things people do not teach you about. That's the issue. That's why you're not getting results. Okay? So this is the brain work you don't see. This is actually harder than this, I would say, honestly. Okay? And you want it to be like McDonald's. If you understand the steps, right? It's literally step, step one, two, three, four, five. Just follow the steps. You're going to get the burger. Okay? You stack, you stack the patty, you stack the cheese, you stack the patty. <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, you will get the burger at the end. You just need to follow the steps. If you don't follow the steps, you're not going to get a result. If you start launching before you, uh, before, imagine step five goes to step two, right? And then you start launching the ads and you try to scale and then you realize, oh no, I can't even be profitable because it literally doesn't make sense because the numbers don't make sense. Okay? So stuff like this, keep in mind. Yeah. Okay? So if you legitimately want to, number one, learn how to scale your company, 
we never have to worry about sales again. Okay, number two, you're not a scrub, sorry. Uh, and you're willing to put in the work, okay? You're the type of, of person who, who's willing to, to work and work hard for it, okay? And you're ready to actually change to better your life. I, I won't say money um, solves all problems, but liquidity, sales, solves a lot of financial pressure for a lot of founders like you, okay? I understand. It's like if you can like put on a switch and boom, money, boom, sales, what, what will that do for you? A lot, right? A lot. I, I know that for a fact because I've worked with many founders um, I want myself, right? So I, I totally understand that. Okay, so if you can learn a skill that will that will entirely transform this, you never have to worry again. Okay? If you're interested to work with us, this is my call to action. Um, if this YouTube is below, uh, if not, it's above. Okay? I'd like to, to implore you to go down there, press the button, uh, book a call. And yep, we have many customers from around the world. And yep, this is how uh, the process, the system to do uh, a million dollars, 11 months. Okay.